again, you guys can't fully appreciate this. this is an amazing sunrise this is from the back of the house. Wow. Oh, I can see what's out there. <laughs> Let's go check out the front. <sighs> Unfortunately, guys, my iron levels are back down again. Oh my god, it's beautiful. Look at that. So not fair. That is just wow. Oh, it's just amazing. There's a whole lot of birds flying around out there. We don't go too. We've gone now. What a beautiful morning. We'll start to the weekend. I wish I felt better. Yeah, I end up going to the doctors on Monday just to talk about my insulin resistance medication and whatnot. And um, I haven't put up Sunday's vlog yet, but I've still got a few a vlog from Sunday. Um, you might remember Friday I wasn't feeling great, and Sunday I wasn't feeling great either, obviously. And I thought, kind of, first I thought it was just a sinus infection, and then I thought, I'm feeling exactly the same as before when my iron levels were low. So I asked the doctor to retest my iron levels, and then she went back Wednesday night, I think it was, to say, yes, not surprisingly, my iron stores are back down to 16. <laughs> so she suggested taking. Um, double my iron supplements and if I'm not feeling better in two weeks to go back and see her and she'll refer me to a haematologist for an iron transfusion. So as yet I am not feeling any better. <laughs> so which is a bummer because <laughs> obviously I'm not doing my exercise again but I am still eating really well. I'm happy to know that. Um, I'll delve into the eating thing in my um weekly thing but I did um, see my old weight loss surgeon the other day and he had um, quite a bit to say which um, has given me a lot of food for thought so I'm still dwelling and processing everything he said and I will um, go into that with my weekly Libby loses it um, update when I've sorted it all out in my head but yes food's still going well and Look, and guess what I've been spending every morning watching? Recycling. Which I'm really enjoying. Yes, I'm really enjoying the cycling. But I just haven't vlogged this week because every day is pretty much been nothing. I had a lot of appointments this week. Uh, I had to go back and... um. I know I had this removed this week. My basal cell carcinoma was removed on Tuesday. A little bit of a funny week. So that was removed on Tuesday and went back yesterday and they had it taken everything out, they had the results back, it's all gone. Um, so I'll go back next week to get the stitches out, but they said it's looking good. Yeah, so I had that appointment, or I had two appointments for that, I had my normal GP, I had the, my weight loss surgeon, so um, yeah, I had an appointment for Athena, so it's been a really funny week, and with not feeling well, I haven't really sort of done anything, I don't think, I've just done the basics, pretty much, because, yeah, I've not been feeling good, and obviously appointment times have, they've mucked up my days, so, I really haven't got much done this week at all, I don't know if I've achieved anything, so I didn't vlog because there wasn't anything exciting to vlog, or very interesting to vlog. And I wasn't feeling good. And even today I thought, oh, I'm not going to pick up the camera. I thought, but I haven't vlogged. Which I had for you guys. I was thinking about it. I go, oh, no, wait. And then I saw the sunrise. So <laughs> I thought, okay, I'm going to get up and get the camera. Because it was so pretty not to share. So Mr. Babis is there. Ben, he's a funny boy. And Rosie's over there. So, yeah, I won't be able to walk them today. But Kevin will walk them today, so that's good. So, yeah, the weather's been really warm, been having like 24 degrees, which is ridiculous for this time of year. Sorry, I don't know what the conversion is, but that's, a, you know, a pretty, that's what you call a, a cooler or a milder summer day. 22 is my perfect, so it's 24, so it's been warmer than that. 
but only obviously for a small fraction of time in the middle of the day. But yeah, it's been t-shirt weather. How we say that t-shirt weather? For us here. <laughs> so, yeah, and I packed up all my summer stuff and I could almost wear it. Yeah, so it's been a bit crazy. I think it's supposed to continue for a few more days. But you know the cold stuff, I can blow out the cold. We haven't had the heater on since, like. So. I haven't had a blanket on the bed. It's been really mild, very, very mild. Um, but I haven't been able to take advantage of it or enjoy it. Oh, just, um, yeah, it's been. I said it's good, kind of good hand the cycling because I watch that for a few hours a day and that just takes my mind off things and not dwelling on how bad I feel. Way behind on YouTube again, but you know, you guys will see that I am still watching and commenting as I get up to them. But yeah, I didn't get hardly anything watched yesterday, so I must be four or five days behind, I guess. I'm pretty behind. Especially now with the race on and all the appointments. Uh, I just hope I'm better before we go to the snow because I was so looking forward to that weekend. Just checking it's still filming, it is. Yeah, I was so looking forward to that weekend. Yeah, anyway, I tried to ramble on too much, and I probably have much to share. It's my turn to weekend vlog because we have no plans. I think it's out today with some friends filming something for a school project. I just got two friends sleeping over. Kevin's going for his bike ride, and I'll probably sit on the couch. But we'll chat, try and share if I do anything exciting, which is doubtful. But um. Yeah, we'll see. Certainly not today, maybe tomorrow I feel better. I just hope this does not take two months to fix itself like it did last time. Well, it won't because she said I can have a high transfusion in a few weeks. But, yeah, it just doesn't seem fair. I just had a few good weeks, got back on top of things, was feeling good, back to my exercise, and then I'm back to here again. Oof. The puppies are just back from their walk. Hey, Rosie. Yeah, Kevin just took them for a walk, which is nice. Oh, I actually had a bit of a. I actually had a sleep. I've been really, really tired. I think the pressure in my head just makes me so tired. I'm actually just. I've noticed it a lot at night, but even today I just. I was just like, okay, I'll just pause the TV for a bit and have a little, I don't know, maybe 15 minutes sleep. Getting hungry, but I don't want to get up and go and make anything. We'll see. I just can't believe I'm back here again. Well, I'm up. I'm feeling better. I'm just going to show you my sky. I haven't seen it before. Didn't realize how big it was. <laughs> I had no idea it was so big. And you can see my other big zigzag one there. <laughs> So Chris is going to um right yeah, you are we have zoomed in clips. There we go. <laughs> this is gonna play nurse Christy again for me, aren't you? Because Kevin's not here. What's wrong, Rosie? Have you already been out today? What are you trying to do, Christy? <laughs> Come on. Christy wanted me to make her some scrambled eggs for breakfast, so I decided I'd do myself some as well. I've just got two eggs scrambled with some salt and a sprinkling of cheese, cup of tea, number four I think, well one of them was a white tea. <laughs> so I'm going to have, have that and um, probably do it on YouTube. Still got the kitchen mess to do. I'm just taking Athena and friend Guy into town to go do this movie. What a beautiful day for it. It's such a shame. I'm feeling better but not 100%. If I felt a lot better I could take the doggies and go for a nice walk at the beach but not up to that. So I'll just run them into town. In my back home. Um, yeah, I've given Athena my normal vlogging camera, so I'm just videoing on my phone now. And yes, the garage is still a big mess. I'm going to go inside and see Rosie. I can't even hear Rosie. Where's Rosie? Where's Rosie? 
Hello, I apologize, I forgot I was supposed to be vlogging again, so I don't know where I ended up. Oh, I took Athena and Guy into town, dropped them off, Fuzzy enjoyed his car ride, came home and I did a little menu plan for the week, so I planned out my meals, did my grocery list, I got Cameron to take me down to the supermarket to get some, we had quite a big shop, we went to Woolworths, and of course I forgot some things, didn't I? Then we went to Coles, the fruit and veg shop and the bakery, so we did it all, so I've got a big shop because um, it doesn't want to show, because you take it easy and not push heavy things or lift heavy things, I thought rather than risk having to carry groceries in, because I tend to forget and pick things up with my left hand, so he did that, so that was really good, and um, just sort of come home, put everything away, very good, because often I don't, well, most things are away, the few things out, and now I'm just making some lunch. So I'm just making our Bangkok special. Now someone asked me about this the other day, and um, this is what I do. Um, so it's just a, an egg, and I, I probably should do a whole video on it. But it's just a fried egg, so I fry it, turn it over, and then I put a slice of cheese on it. And then on the toast, which has popped up, goes some mayonnaise, and then, then the egg and cheese, tomato, and lettuce, and that is it. That's about what I call a Bangkok special. In the town, city, Bangkok. Um, that's what we had in Bangkok Airport <laughs> and we really like it so it's become a bit of a staple and I don't know what it's called and obviously probably just an egg and cheese toasted sandwich or something but we call it the Bangkok special. <laughs> so there's my toast, scrape with mayonnaise on it, doesn't need to be a lot. And then take this, put that on, and my tomatoes will clump together, a bit of tomato, Lettuce and toast. So don't bother to butter the toast because you've got the mayonnaise and that's it. Easy peasy and so yummy. Kevin actually requested that we have this again today. You can see Charlie's shadow of his bird cage. It's funny. So I'm going to another cup of tea. Actually, Chrissy wanted me to cut that watermelon. So I might do that for her too. I've got the washing up done. And... Oh, and sadly we lost another chicken. I went out to feed them before and one, she was eating, but she wasn't, you could tell she wasn't well, she was like waddling and when I picked up her stomach was really swollen and I thought, oh, well, that should come in to ask Kevin if he'd be able to dispatch her <laughs> because she, I could tell she wasn't well and it wasn't probably going to last very long and she's, you know, I got to take her to the vets and have them put it down, it's going to cost a bit of money and he was still trying to work out whether he can do it and I sort of thought, Oh, I'll just take her and put her back outside and she can eat some more and be happy to work out what we're going to do because Kevin wasn't really sure about it. <laughs> um, and then when I put it down the ground, she just like collapsed on the ground dead. So that was that. Poor thing. I feel bad, but at least she wasn't suffering anymore because, yeah, she didn't seem very good. She was having trouble breathing and that. So hopefully, I don't, I was out there yesterday, I think, or the day before, and she was fine. But it's a problem because we don't handle the chickens very often when they've got something like the swollen stomach which we've had before you don't know until it's sort of a bit too late anyway she's not suffering so that's good so time for a cup of tea as you can see who made pizza for dinner tonight i'm not sure if it's that blurry or not so that's kevin and mine the kids have already gone <laughs> as you can see they've eaten and gone puppies have had their dinner so you're blurry, baby. Why are you blurry? Why are you blurry? You know why you're blurry? There you go. You're not blurry anymore. Get Rosie. Was your dinner good too? There's nothing left. There's a bit of popcorn there that got brought back through. But the kids like their pizzas. Oh, Sunday morning. That's my brekkie today. Watching the cycling. No surprise there. Uh, rough, no, you can't see it. They're riding up hills today. Now I'm going to enjoy my breakfast. Um, finish off my cup of tea number three, I think. Um, I actually slept in to six o'clock this morning because I stayed up last night reading a new book. I started a book probably about nine o'clock and stayed up to twelve o'clock reading it. <laughs> so, wake up at six this morning. Still not feeling very good though, so Kevin just took the dogs on a walk and he's gone off on his ride again. I'm just kind of feel sorry for myself, but I did manage to make myself a nice breakfast, so that's good. 
It's a funny old day today. It's supposed to be really warm again, but it's nice, but I don't think it's going to be as hot as what they thought, which is good. Because it's going to be ridiculous. I'm actually feeling a bit better. A bit brighter, so it's good. It seems to have really had a bit of a rough start to the morning, and then, yes, yeah, so about 10, 11, I seem to pick up a bit, which is good. It's better than the 3 o'clock time it used to be when I was had the iron levels before. So, I'll just take it easy though. I want to get over this as quick as I can. So, yes, one child has gone home. We've still got another one here for half an hour. Kevin's back from his ride, he's gone to have his shower. I don't have anything else exciting to report. <laughs> Ages is coming in. Yeah, so, way, way behind on watching vlogs again though. I watched a few yesterday, that was it. So, I'm probably going to have to. Um, not watch them all, <laughs> which you know I don't like to do, but yeah, I'm just gonna have to skip quite a bit, I think. Yeah, I'll go. What was I doing? I think I was just starting to watch a vlog. Yeah, I was watching Andrea from Nest Full of Love. Nest, is that what it is? Is that the right title? Pretty sure that's it. Let me just have a look. Yeah, Nest Full of Love, and I'm on. Got to convert it because it's the American, so. <laughs> It's the 12th of May. So yeah, I think it's the 19th here today. Is it the 19th? The 18th. So I'm probably five days behind then. Yeah. So I'm still sort of slowly making progress, but I don't know how many I've got on my to watch list. I don't know watch later. I don't know. Anyway. Um, yeah, if I haven't... <laughs> Some I've watched and I haven't commented on, some I just haven't had a watch, so please excuse me while I try and keep on top of things. The Giro d'Italia has still got two weeks to go, so, and that takes me, like, with stopping and making breakfast and whatnot, usually about four hours to watch. So I think about three hours of, of recovery by the time you stop it, you know, and make tea and little breaks and all the rest of it, so it's just taking about four hours to get through it, so that's a big chunk of the day. I've not watched on YouTube, so. I think I'm feeling a little bit better, though. I'm exhausted again now, because we've had, um... Oh, I don't know. Well, I look pretty scary. Not too bad. We've had a bit of a smell in the garage. <laughs> well, first of all, we had a smell in the garage, which we knew was a dead rat. We've had lots of problems with rats in the garage. Then we had a smell in my car, which we found out was I'd left watermelon in there <laughs> from last Monday. <laughs> Got out yesterday, which was Saturday. I think it was probably right until the car was parked out in the sun on Friday for a few hours. So we got rid of that smell out of my car. And then we still had the smell, which is actually gone already. So it was that rat. So we had to have, well, kind of a clear out here. Doesn't really look like we had a clean out, but we did. And look, the box that's been over there for ages. I've got Kevin to put it over there. Um, yeah, the dead rat's gone. We got him. So, yeah, it probably doesn't look like it, but... It is actually tidier. Doesn't look like it does it, Bailey. So that's my smells dealt with. I'll just look at these bars that I've put on the car. As you do. Come on, Rose. The rat's gone. He's gone. All right, everyone's inside. So yeah, we dealt with that. And then I'm Kevin took a bale of straw to the chickens. And yes, the other girl had died. So she looked very peaceful though. Like I put her back in the main house last night, and that's where she was this morning. Like snuggled in the corner, dead. But yeah. So and I, I obviously cleaned out their house, which I've been meaning to do for ages. And it was really hard on my hand. My hands been mucking up an awful lot. I think to see arthritis in my hands getting worse. So yeah, so I've got four chickens left, but I think when, when they go, that will be it. So I don't think we'll, we'll get any more. I actually went to Woolworths yesterday and I managed to get organic free range eggs, which is exactly what I want. Because she used them all this morning for her French toast. <laughs> I was gonna boil some up. Actually, Kevin and Athena have gone down. I wonder if I could get to go get some more eggs. Athena wanted bento for lunch, so they've gone to get bento. I might send them an email because they were like the perfect eggs. Because obviously they've done four chickens. But I could eat two eggs a day, and some are really small. And that's why I didn't do boiled eggs last week, because I didn't have sort of enough. So Athena and Kevin bought Christy a, a poster. Is that like all the ponies? All the ponies from season one. And I've been probably near most of them. So it's okay. Maybe new ponies. <laughs> it's like Pokemon. There's new ones every time. I could probably name most Who's the dog? Winona. Pardon? Winona. Mm. That's Applejack's pet. 
Okay. And that's what I tried to pet the nice fish. Oh, they are cute, aren't they? That's Gummy, who is Pinkie Pie's pet. That's Opalescent, or Opal, who is Gary's pet. And where's Rainbow's pet? Oh, wait, Tang doesn't come until the second level, until the second season. And then new thing. Can you tell who's the My Little Pony expert? New thing, new thing with the, the thing with the big mouth open. They tried to eat Ponyville after Twilight cast a spell to make him stop eating food. So they started eating Ponyville. Okay. And then what's. What's her rolls? Okay, Kim was nice enough to cut the butternut pumpkin for me, so I'm going to make some pumpkin soup. This is my hand. When I chop, it gets very sore very quickly. My hands. So I just did that. Done some ironing so the girls will have some clothes to wear. I'm only complaining. I'm sure they have plenty anyway, but they will complain because their favourites are there. And typically when you come back into the kitchen. Not a big mess, but a little mess. And annoying. And um, we got to try these bakers from Bakers Delight yesterday. I think that's my sirs, but I don't want them. They're so nice. They're orange. Orange poppy seed and orange chocolate. You guys know. Well, you should know. Probably not. I love orange stuff and orange chocolate. But actually, the poppy seed one was probably nicer. I might have a bite of each of them later on. That's why we got that little sample bite. It's like a little piece to try at the shops yesterday, and they were good, but it was enough. I didn't really want any more, but okay. Home with more today. Um, so I'm gonna get soup started. All it is is just um, add stock to it. <laughs> That's all I do. And I'm gonna um, do my salads for. I'll make like four salads for the next four days. Get that done. And then I'll probably do me today. I do want to make something for the family. I might see if I can. Well, oh, they've got a cake thing in there. I've got the raspberry and pear, raspberry and banana bread, raspberry and pear. Raspberry and pear loaf in the fridge, so I can always have that. Yeah, I might do some baking tomorrow, it might be better. One, two, three, four salads done, ready to put in the fridge. Okay, I've had a nice spa, done some more washing up, and I just made some overnight oats for Kevin and I for breakfast tomorrow. Since I'm off and don't know what I want for breakfast, it'll make some overnight oats and then I'm Except for the morning when everyone I have them. And also the mornings tends to be on feeling at my worst usually in the day. So you know, a bit of a productive afternoon. I'm going to sit down for a bit, I think, now, have a rest, and um, then we'll have some dinner. So I'm just going to have, in case I forget to show you later on, some pumpkin soup. And we've got Turkish bread, which we'll either just have plain or put some cheese on, I haven't decided yet. Um, so that's going to be our dinner. And then watching TV. <laughs> then going to bed to read my book that I'm enjoying. Well, heading off to bed. Watched a couple of shows we'd taped on iStar during the week. Nice quiet evening. So, hope you've all had a nice weekend. And I'll hopefully get last Sunday and this Sunday, this weekend's videos up soon. Um, hopefully we should make a delay. Got to get myself into some kind of routine. But it's hard when I'm not feeling the best. And then... Spending four hours watching the Juro. <laughs> so, anyway, I will um, talk to you again soon. Hopefully, I'll be feeling better soon. <laughs>